Hey there guys, how are you all doing? This is your Vibro once again. Hope you guys are doing well and today I am going to bring you a special video for you guys. This is basically for the users who are struggling to get a solid 60 frames or a solid consistent performance over into their beloved PUBG mobile game. And for this video, I am on the Phoenix version um, Dark Matter. This is the latest one that is the AXO 4.4. So it's just working really really great so let's keep all these things aside and let me talk about the performance of PUBG over into my system for my system I basically use the Panda Game Booster uh, but as this is a paid application I don't really recommend to you I did recommend it before but a lot of people said that it's a paid version so it's not useful and so I am going to bring you the GL tool so by using GL tools you're gonna be getting a really great performance out of your game so this GL GL tool is a free application. The link will be there in the description so you can go ahead and download it up. And this will also work on your smartphone as well. If you have your Android smartphone, it will work, but it needs a root access. So if you're not rooted, it's not going to work. And even on Phoenix, if you, you should have a rooted Phoenix, means the root access should be turned on. So keeping all those things aside and let's assuming that you already know all these things, let's open up PUBG Mobile, search out there and just open up PUBG Mobile and enable the custom settings for this app. Just enable that and rest, don't touch anything and just go ahead. You can also use the FPS counter, I'm just using it. And just uh, uh, turn on the use fake GPU info, just turn it on and just go below and just there will be a use a template. Just open this thing up and select GPU CPU uh, to Tegra 4 shield. And once you are selected to that, all right, now go and fake GL version just edit it to 3.5 it's not 3.0 it's 3.5 this is a very important thing guys make sure you are putting it to 3.5 hit ok and that's pretty much it you just need to close this thing up and let's open up the game and let's check out the kind of frame rates that i'm getting for sure i am using uh, a screen recorder app so i think i might be getting less fps but overall don't worry i will be adding a footage uh, that will be recorded by my phone which will show you the kind of frame rates that i'm getting right now as you can see right now i'm trying to get around 30s and 60 it does hit it and let's just go ahead into the game and i'll be showing you how the overall fps is when we start the game so as you can see the emulator detection is turned on so it's enabled so we can get you can see that uh, i'm getting around 50 to 60 fps you can see that smooth as butter you can see the frame rate is still at 60 it's capping at 60 is totally awesome let me go ahead just select a training for just this video purpose and let's take a look at how the game actually runs you can see that the frame is 60 um so yeah the overall the performance will be great let me just go ahead and just take a look at on the overall playground and uh let's take a look at it oh not now venom just stay away no okay just keeping venom away because you see my um fps is reaching around 50s and now it's like really really smooth as you can see, I'm moving around like it's really, really buttery smooth. Uh, there are a few frame drops here and there. And if I go ahead to the settings and graphics, you can see it's smooth and medium, but still it's going up to 50 frames per second. That's really, really great. So that's pretty much it, guys. That's a quick and easy way how you can just make this work over into your system if you got any queries you know how to reach me and my instagram link will be also splashing over into the screen so you can go ahead and dm me out there as well and also you can just go ahead and um use the comment box down below that's pretty much it guys this is vibro have a great day enjoy god bless you all and thank you have a great day Bye bye